Hey, and welcome to a better UI video. And here I'll be going over booking.com's uh, homepage and raising some of the issues based on good UI ideas, along with uh, levels of certainty, essentially how sure I am about uh, those suggestions. This is our first part um, of a two-part video. The second video will be a follow-up available in a course or actually be sketching a solution. In this video, I'm just going over, again, some of the issues and what could potentially be wrong with uh, with the homepage. Um, so here we are looking at Booking.com's. I think everybody knows what Booking.com does. It's a platform, amazing platform for finding all sorts of properties, apartments, rental apartments, uh, hotels, across the world and the goal I'm setting for this um, these set of changes is with uh, with the primary metric of enabling more searches the assumption is that if users could uh, do more quality searches um, as a secondary metric uh, bookings um, should follow through Okay, so first of all, more searches, and then hopefully, um, if this were to be tested, uh, we'd also want to see bookings to increase. Okay, so I brought a handful of uh, uh, issues or good ideas here on the side, along with their level of, uh, of certainty, ranging from 0 to 10, 10 being the most sure, 0 being the least sure, and I'll go over each of these one by one. Uh, so first of all, one column layout. Um, the search task, this the search box is in center. You see uh, a double column, which uh, there's a lot of items. There's a lot of uh, attention being divided across lots of things which call for attention. And I'm tagging this as a five. I'm, I'm thinking, if this were more of a focused uh, component, since this is the primary um, uh, box, the, the, the action, primary action, um, I would try uh, centering it so that everything on the page is supporting, that that's the thing that someone should do, and uh, uh, place these other uh, calls to action uh, actions uh, secondarily around it, okay? And I tag it as a five because I'm drawing uh, some inspiration from a past test, uh, which I'll show you here right now. Um, it's only a five, it's not It's not more because there's actually in this particular test here, which I'm, which I'm sharing right here, um, there's lots of changes which have been done. But essentially, it was for a for a dating site uh, where the, uh, the 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 search box. They were also we're also trying to increase searches, and the search box was uh, on the side. And by centering it and combining with a bunch of other changes, exposing options, bigger click areas, uh, lar larger larger um, click areas, and. Uh, and so forth, but I think the the key element was just increasing the uh, the prominence and the size of the of the um, of the search uh, interface. Uh, that led to uh, some increases in, in the amount of searches and signups. So, inspired by that, I'm thinking if the same were to be done here, perhaps um, uh, more searches could be uh, uh, driven as well. Uh, so that's one column layout. Progressive disclosure. Uh, the idea is that right now I think we sh like the, the interface is showing quite a bit of options. Um, but what's key here is uh, getting people to fill out this this destination. Um, and perhaps if we only showed this and gradually. Uh, showed the rest of the fields as someone typed in the destination, 
maybe that would help. Uh, and I'm also uh, referring to as a five because a five needs actually a test. Uh, so I'm drawing from this little weak uh, possible test here that was uh, submitted on the Good UI Evidence project. And the control had a bunch of fields. Oh, it, was, it was a little bit different because it was tracking signups, not searches. Um, but there's a very, very faint hint of an uh, of, uh, increase uh, to these signups uh, just by actually showing the first field. Uh, and as someone typed in the, uh, their name, the, sorry, their email address, uh, the rest of the fields were shown. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm referring to that. Uh, I might do the same here. Uh, explaining work and leisure. So if you look at this on the, on the live side, the little tooltip explanation, um, it actually explains how the work and leisure affects uh, or could be affecting the search results. Uh, without, without this tooltip, uh, I think it could be a little bit mysterious to some. So I'm tagging that as a, as a problem ranked at number two, which is, uh, I think if we did, if we showed some sort of explainer text, it, there's a good chance that that could help alleviate some of the uh, unknowns for people. Uh, bigger click, clickable areas, um, rooms, adults, children, all these options, they're tiny. Um, so that makes it a little bit hard to express those choices. Uh, again, I'm probably drawing from uh, from this test, which has done that a little bit. Uh, essentially, the size of all these pull down of the of these options were inc increased from these tiny, tiny, tiny little um, uh, options. I'll, I'll show you a close up of what the control looked like here. So again, tiny pull down options. Um, so I think just making them a little bit bigger could help. Exposed options, very similar to the pull down issue. Um, pull downs require at least two clicks to see what the options are. Uh, sorry, one click to see what the option is. Uh, and then another click for expression, expression of the choice. And by exposing these options, so um, actually showing one, two, three, four, and so forth. Sure, that takes up more space, but makes it a little bit more easier to, to do so, if assuming these are important choices that people express. Uh, so that's a five. Providing feedback. I think the interface doesn't really do a very good job at uh, feedback in terms of whether the UI is ready to search or not. Uh, right now, it's telling people they could click on the button. It's drawing attention. It's it's an active button. But really, what happens is if you don't fill out anything, there's actually it's going to give you an error. So uh, the, in, the the immediate feedback it could be telling people uh, could be that it's actually not ready to search. And uh, thinking along those lines, uh, perhaps what it should do is when you enter the destination, which is a key required uh, option, maybe that's when the button becomes active and suggests that, hey, okay, this is ready. You can search now. All right, so that's um, one other minor thing. Uh, benefit buttons, tagged as a one. Uh, benefit buttons essentially search. I'm, I'm wondering, is search really a benefit? I mean, sure, it's clear. It, it, I think everybody knows what a search is, but maybe what if it was, was um, consistently connecting with with the benefit of uh, um, you know find the best deals or see the best see the best deal something like that something that again connects with the um, with the headline here. Okay, tagging is a one because that's yeah I don't have that too much certainty about that. Run some tests in the past that didn't didn't work. <laughs> Um, curiosity. Curiosity is, I wonder if there's an issue here around teasing people about like the amazing properties, the properties that this, you know, the service offers. Sure. They're, they're, they're showing, um, 
some uh, some loca- some destinations, some some uh, locations, um, photos of cities. But what if, as you started typing, there's something, something that started hinting at, hey, there like there's some amazing, amazing, beautiful properties um, available. Um, maybe numbers 239 to two, sorry 234 um, something that as, as you were as, as the user was interacting with this um, uh, something that was teasing people about um, again the amazing properties that these guys have okay that's a two not too much certainty on that kind of a maybe and then there's two other little substates here uh as people interact with the with the check-in no check-in dates so two issues here um what happens is here let me explain the interaction when someone clicks on the check-in uh field uh naturally as expected um a date uh, selection appears which is great um but as Let's say I'll choose July 27. As someone clicks uh, this, expresses their choice, all of this disappears. And then July 27th is expressed here, which I wonder if that's a bit of a weird thing because maybe maybe I want to express also the end, the return date at the same time. And then I have to click again this box here. So essentially, you, you choose, you know, you choose your check-in date, you choose your your, uh, your your date, and that disappears. Okay, and um, yeah, just kind of wondering about that. If if perhaps that should remain persistent, so that I could express the other date. Uh, consistency, a minor little thing. Um, if you choose this check-in box the sorry the box appears here but if you choose the checkout date the box appears indented and a shift in position some minor 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 thing what if it was consistent what if both boxes appeared somewhere in the same place okay so on one very little certainty this will help but nevertheless something okay so that's uh, all these little issues uh thanks for watching share your comments on youtube and uh, expect a follow-up video uh, for the solution for the concept um, and the uh, better ui course all right thanks